How are you guys? Welcome to Grade 7 Maths. Today we are going to learn how to find the lowest common multiple of two or more numbers using the ladder method. So in our case, we have two numbers, 15 and 35, and we want to find the lowest common multiple of 15 and 35. So to do that, we have to first express each number as a product of its prime factors using the ladder method. So I'm going to take my 15 and divide it by the lowest possible prime factor. And the lowest possible prime factor that can end up without leaving a remainder is actually 3. So 3 into 15 is 5. 3 can no longer enter without leaving a remainder. So our next lowest possible prime factor is 5. 5 into 5 is equal to 1. When you get 1, you're going to end there. So 15 as a product of its prime factor is equal to 3 times 5. Then I'm going to do the same thing for 35. What is the lowest possible prime factor? I think it's 3. 3 cannot, it means it's going to be 5. So 5 into 35 is 7. 5 can no longer enter without leaving a remainder. So my next possible prime factor is 7. So 7 into 7 is 1. When I get 1, we're going to end there. So 35 is equal to 5 times 7. So our expressions from the combination of factors on the left hand side of the ladder. So after expressing each number as a product of its prime factor, we are going to combine the two expressions by checking the common things and repeated or the common factors appearing in both expressions. So five is common to both expressions. So we'll take five and multiply it by the remaining factors or numbers, which are not common, which is five times three. And lastly, times seven. So it means repeated factors or common factors in both expressions or more. You don't write them repeatedly, but you write them once or representatively. So the answer finally will be 5 times 3, which is 15. And 15 times 7 is equal to 35 and 7, 1 or so the lowest common multiple of 35 and 15 is equal to 105. Thank you guys. I hope you have enjoyed and understood how we find the lowest common multiple of any two or more numbers.